You know, boys, <clears throat> my throat's going a little bit because the bottom line is, is as much as I was sick, and I know you are, heartthrob, we still took it to Sullivan and Pete and kept these bad boys. Which, as you know, camera brings me to next Saturday night. We have the Supergirls. And not only do we have the Supergirls, not only were we forced into wrestling former Canadian women's champions, but not only that, but we got to put on the tag team championships which is fine because you see we just proved that we could keep the titles by facing big guys like Pete Storm and Jason Sullivan so next week ladies come on down and we'll prove to you why it is that we are the very first tag team champions you know as I sit here tonight with my brothers Nate the Great and heartthrob Eric Hansen I think about in just a short period of time from now, in seven short days, next week, Nate the Great and myself, Cameron Starr, are going to be standing across the ring from two, not one Nate the Great, but two former Supergirl champions. What I've decided to call next Saturday night is a night of champions. Like I said, Veronica Weiss and Nikki Matthews both two great athletes, two former Supergirls champions. But you know what? You're looking at the tag team champions right here. You're looking at the former Oregon State tag team champions, the current Northwest tag team champions, the former NWWA heavyweight champion. And so, as, as we all saw tonight, if Pete Storm and Jason Sullivan, two of the top premier athletes that the NWWA has to offer can't take these belts from us. Veronica Weiss and Nikki Matthews, what gives you the right to even think that when you look at us from across that ring, you think you have even the slightest chance of taking these belts from us? Ever since we won these, people have been lining up at the door to get their shot, and nobody, nobody 
has ever been able to beat us when we've been the tag team champions. C.W. Bergstrom and Richie Magnet couldn't get the job done. Havoc and Aaron Bolo could never get the job done. Mike Santiago, Dash Venture, Caden Matthews, the list goes on and on. And at the end of the night, it doesn't even matter because when we go home, we're still the tag team champions. So Veronica Weiss and Nikki Matthews, when you make that long trip down I-5 from Vancouver, B.C., and you know that you're facing the two top athletes in the Pacific Northwest, two of the three, two of the three top athletes of the Pacific Northwest has to offer. I know that when they're making that drive, they're gonna be they're gonna be getting a little nervous once they cross the border. Butterflies. Little butterflies. Once they hit Centralia, Chehalis, it's gonna start to hit them that we're sending them back to Canada. And all the championships that you've won, all the matches that you've won, it's not going to matter. Because like we've said time and time again, and take what I say is gospel, we are going home next Saturday night from the NWWA Fight Factory, still the tag team champions. Now, one thing that we need to address is that Hearthrob Eric Hansen, you've been called upon to be the special guest referee next Saturday night. And what myself and Nate the Great need to know is that you're going to call this down the middle. That you're going to remember where your loyalties lie. And you're going to remember who got you to the dance. You've rode with us up and down the highway. And you've been with us from top to bottom. And I need to know that next week, when it comes time to call that match, that you're going to be there. Well, you know, gentlemen, this is ongoing on my fourth hour of sobriety. I did my 45 minutes of rehab, got out of there just in time, a happy hour. <clears throat> but I'm seeing clearly now, I'm seeing clearly now, I'm on my fourth hour of sobriety, and I will promise you, as I, will, as I promised <laughs> Nikki Matthews, I will call this match straight down the middle. I want my present, I want my surprise, and when I get promised that I'm going to blush, you know Heartthrob's going to be there. So, at the end of the day, yes, I am still one-third of the tag team champions. But, guys, you can call it's that Nikki match. Matthews. You can call that match however you want to, as long as you make sure... It's going to be right tonight. down the middle. I'm not favoring anybody. I'm not favoring y'all. You guys are my brothers. I love you. I'm not favoring them, because I don't want to lose my belts. Right. It's going to be down the line, just like she wanted. Heartthrob, just like I said, next Saturday night, you better be thinking with this head up here. And if you don't, even if he doesn't, Nate, it's not going to matter because we've overcome bigger obstacles before. It's like I said, my priorities lie between two things, and I walk on them. Nate, this is going to be up to me and you, and I know we can pull through this. And like I said, there's, just, there's no other way to say it. That next week, right now, you're looking at the NWWA Tag Team Champions, and next Saturday night, when all is said and done, boys, we're gonna take we're gonna take the belts to Pendleton the next night. We're gonna take them to Gresham, Seaside, Medford, all over the West Coast, and it's not gonna matter. Still gonna be the NWWA Tag Team Champions.